since we're talking about blue bonnets, it's a familiar sight to see people stop on the side of the road snapping blue bonnet photos. So how do you get that perfect photo? Photographer Wade Griffith shares a few tips. Please say hello to Wade and tell us how we can get that perfect photograph. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. First, you gotta have a good camera. You, well, no, that's not necessarily true. The camera is, is not as important as the photographer is. Um, so it's more about the photographer's eye. So these tips are, are if you could have a point and shoot camera or you could have a DSLR, it's not gonna matter. Okay, everybody's using their iPhone. Yeah, I use my iPhone all the time and I take, um, I think, wonderful photos with it. <laughs> you <So> better. <laughs> I'm posting them to Instagram all the time and the, everybody's telling me they're great. So yeah, that's you could even go out there with, with your iPhone and take pictures okay, if you wanted to. Okay, give me to. some tips on taking with, with a child. Sure. Well, the first thing is to shoot at the right time of day. Light is the most important thing. So um, as I've mentioned before, shooting early in the morning or later in the yes. afternoon when the sun is low is, mm -hmm. is a great time to go. Don't go admit when the midday sun yes. is high. That gives really bad shadows on the face. Also to have the sun coming from the side of the subject's face or even from behind is, is, is beautiful and creates a highlight and doesn't cause this, this harsh glare on their face. So or not them having the sun squarely on the face. Right, you don't want blinding sun right in no, your subject's face. No, and it makes you just look it shows every line and sag and bag. Right, so have it coming from the side or from behind them, it'll be a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Um, another tip is to get down on the level of your child or mm -hmm. your subject, your pet. Um, you know, get down on your knees or crouch down um, because you want to have them uh, right down in the yes. flowers where you have the flowers all the way around them. So, so get down on their level. If you can, focus in on their eyes and, and that's what you're really trying to get a picture of is, yes. is their face with the flowers and, around and them. And just get down there right. I mean, if you're on your belly. Right, get, get down, down on your stomach. That's right. Check for rattlesnakes and things <laughs> like this. Maybe wear jeans, but yeah, get and down as low as you can. Keys down there. <laughs> we'll return your keys, definitely. <laughs> and then what? Another uh, good tip is to use a zoom lens, and this is if you have a professional camera to use a longer lens, mm -hmm. or even if you don't, the point and shoots a lot of times can zoom out. So, so step back as far as you can and zoom in on your subject. This will cause there to be a softness in the foreground and the background, but your subject to be nice and sharp, which creates, you know, it isolates them and creates a, a nice. And you want to pay attention to the background and the cups and the Coke bottles in this. You want to remove all that stuff. Right. If there's Coke bottles hanging from trees. <laughs> Right. and things like this, go ahead and take those down or take those get rid down. of trash that may be blowing around in the background. That's always Or the good. cell tower, right, coming out of the head of the subject. That's, that's correct. <laughs> Um, another thing that I was going to say is to use fill flash. A lot of times, um, What's that? well, it's just a flash on your camera. A lot of times during the day, people never think to use their flash. But if the sun is kind of bright and casting uh, shadows on on the person's face, using a flash can fill in and take out all those really? shadows from will the front. Will it take out sags and lines? Yeah, well, it takes out sags and lines. It's, That's it's, good. A fill flash. <laughs> what so else? use a fill flash. And the last thing is what we were talking about is to get rid of distractions that are in the photographs, mm -hmm. um, especially when shooting with the horizon line. You don't want cell towers coming mm -hmm. out of your or people breastfeeding in the If there's a breastfeeder right behind them, if you could just ask them to get down a little bit, you know, <laughs> that would be nice. But if you have a step ladder or a chair that you can get up on and shoot down on your children, yes. um, that's a good way to and isolate them And that's also a the better way to take them. a photograph of a person rather than shooting up where it shows all the right, neck. children don't so much have this problem, but adults <laughs> always like it when you get up above them that's a little right. bit. That's yeah. right. Oh my gosh. This yeah. is, tell, tell me how people can get you to take their picture. Um, they can go to wadegriffithphotography.com. That's okay. my website. And it's G-R-I-F-F-I-T-H? Like Andy Griffith, correct. Okay. And um, I, I don't know if we're related, but we'll get into that another time. All right. Um, and, or they can call me 214-448-4495. 214-448-4495. The last thing I wanted to mention is that I do a podcast every week called The Photography Show that they can find on iTunes. If they just go to iTunes and type in The Photography Show, it's an hour-long uh, podcast that, like, where I give tips and things like this. Okay. Yeah. I'll look forward to seeing more pictures from you. And Wonderful. I'll look forward to maybe seeing you at the Ennis Blue Bonnet Festival and finding out uh, some about your wonderful pictures. Okay. If you'd like more information about Wade Griffin's photos, check out Wade. Wade Griffin, photography.com.